so today I'm going to be doing a question and answer. I put it out on my Instagram the other day asking you for some questions. So I thought it would be quite a nice way to kick off my YouTube channel and you can kind of get to know me a little bit more. So thanks to everyone who sent the questions in or else I would have absolutely nothing to vlog about to start off with. So let's get to it. First question. How has your weekend been? My weekend has been great, thanks. I kind of just stayed in, just started doing stuff for my website, changing it around a bit. I watched Afterlife, binged it all Saturday night and it was good. I cried right at the end. Maybe a little bit controversial but I didn't think it was as amazing as everyone made it out but it was nice. Are you real? Yes I am. Do you cycle outside your Help for Hero fundraisers? I do not. And I should because it's coming up in June. I'm doing the big Battlefield bike ride. I did it last year. Some of you may know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I did this bike ride through France to Belgium, 380 miles. And before that, I hadn't rode a bike since I was like 12. So biking isn't my forte and I just don't really fancy it don't really like it just not for me but I took it up and it was amazing I'm doing it again this year this year we're going from Normandy to Paris to commemorate the D-Day anniversary and I'm really looking forward to it but I haven't really been training much and I think it's worse once you know so obviously last year I was really excited and I kind of didn't know what to expect and obviously I threw myself into my training because so I was like oh god if I'm not ready then this could go really really wrong. This year I've been a bit crap in, in getting going. I do go to my spin class but I don't really love it. So no I don't cycle outside of my health period fundraisers but I do need to get onto it. So you might see me around on Instagram up in the mountains in Wales soon. I just realised that the reflection in my eyes. Sorry about that. I can't really see without and I'll just take them off. I'll just be blind. Who was the bustiest model you shot with and what's your fave pick of you? Bustiest model I shot with has got to be the fish, hasn't it? Got to be Joey Fisher there. Absolutely but they're amazing. So it's got to be her. I remember when I first met her on a nut shoot studio we were in. It was kind of like a platform above and then it looks down into the studio. And I remember looking down and she was doing a shoot and I was just upstairs eating something probably. And I was looking down and I was just like, she couldn't believe it. You just seen from all away. What's my fave pick of me? I love all my make and thing girl ones because when you work with a team that you really enjoy working with, I think it brings the best out in you anyway. And it's just fun, just a bit more weird when your leg is like up here. So yeah, probably them. I love also my Harris Newcomb ones, which are old now. We kind of just did it for fun. His work's amazing, so check him out. And Matt Comer as well. He's really good. I've got loads of pictures that are my fave. I can't really pick one. Sorry. Refitter rolls or sticky toffee pudding. Now we're getting to the serious stuff. Refitter rolls, 100%. Loads of cream on there. Ooh, like caramel sauce. Mm. But I'm not, I'm not huge on them. They wouldn't be my go-to choice. I love cheesecake. That wasn't the option, but just throwing it in there. Sid my tame lab board and blonde etta. Do you miss the ginge? It's a bit of Welsh question for you. Thank you. It feels good to be blonde again, literally, and I just straightened my hair today. And I feel like the old me again. Yeah, it's weird though. If I do miss the ginge, it's funny because people treat you so different, especially girls in their bathrooms and clubs and they're out when you're blonde. When your ginger Weird. Then guys treat you different as well, because when you're blonde, they're like, you're ginger though. That you got ginger poops. I don't want anything to do with you. I do miss the ginger. I do. But it's just so much upkeep. I had to get it done every month and six months. Any plans on visiting Canada? I've been there once, but I kind of just passed through because, ooh, a massive heron just flew past my window. I missed my flight. I went out party the night before and I had a flight to LA the next day from Heathrow, which is already like two and a half hours from me. And I didn't make it. Got the time wrong. Got drunk. So the only way I could get to LA for the next day because it was holding a casting was to fly through Canada, Toronto I went to. I was so petrified that I was going to miss my flight and my flight was at six in the morning so I literally did not leave my hotel room so I just looked out the window and I was like, it looks so nice but I couldn't go. So I would like to come back to Canada. Does laser eye surgery hurt? This is probably because I posted this thing the other day that I'm looking into it. I haven't actually had it done yet hence why I'm a bit blind without my glasses but Hopefully it doesn't hurt because I might get it done. If and when I do, I'll definitely do a kind of vlog about it and my experience. So we'll see. I just deleted the whole page of the questions. Oh, they're back, they're back, they're back, they're back. They're back. Right. Let's get to it. Pineapple on pizza. Yes. I love pineapple on pizza. I love everything about pineapple. My favourite actually is this place in town called Viva Brazil. And it's like a meat place you get 16 meat. And then they come around with this grilled pineapple that's sprinkled in like cinnamon. Oh, 
that's so good. I just like fill up on all of that. So yeah, pineapple on pizza. But weird if you don't, you're just trying to be controversial. Did you go to university? I did go to university. I went to University of South Wales. I think it was Glamorgan when I went all them years ago. I did sociology with education. I major in mine and which I didn't mean to do. This is how much I went to my open days, obviously, didn't go. I thought that my education was just a module in sociology, because in my A-level, I got 98% in my education, the sociology one. So obviously I was like, class, I won't do that. <laughs> Little did I know, I was minoring in education. So now I kind of know about childcare and stuff. No more nudes videos? RIP to the nudes, nudes, no more nudes. What's your most embarrassing moment during a photo shoot? Ooh, that's a good one. One definitely, this is probably limited to garment modeling because I can't imagine that they make you want hard nips in fashion. <laughs> but I've been on a shoot and then they want your nipples to be, you know, standing to attention to look nicer. I don't naturally, you know, stand very often. So then uh, many a times I've been told, oh, can you like, doesn't work like that. So I've been handed a Coke can a few times, a cold Coke can, and then you're just there like, not a Coke can, but <whistles> making small talk, waiting for your nip to pop out. So yeah, that's a bit of an awkward, embarrassing moment for you. It's not going well. If you could swap bodies with one other glam model for a day, who would it be and why? Ooh, good question. I don't know really, there's just so many. I, everyone's amazing, obviously, because that's their job to have an amazing body. But I would say Rosie Jones maybe, because she's a bit taller than me and it always looks toned and she's like, But I mean, I'd take anyone's. What's your favorite food? I love all foods, so this is difficult to answer. Uh, my favorite cuisine, probably a, a Italian, because it's just an all-rounder, isn't it? Like I like pizza. Pasta, I like cheese, I like antipasties. I really enjoy Nando's. So I can't pick one. What would be my last meal if I had to pick one on like death row? Just asking myself the questions now. Maybe a Nando's. People say it's overrated, but if you think it's overrated, you're not ordering the right stuff. That's all I'm saying. Can we be friends? Let, let's let's do it. Honestly. Honestly, most of the guys here came for the tips. Why should we stay? You don't have to. It's fine. You can go. I'll survive. Ah, what is top of your bucket list? I just want to travel a lot, which is definitely up there. I want to go to Iceland. Book to go to Thailand, which is really exciting. And go with my friends in December. But I really want to go to like Bali. I've never been to Asia, so this will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I can't think of places off the top of my head, but I just kind of want to go everywhere and anywhere and see the world. So that's on my bucket list, just to travel more. And then I really want to write a book. So that's on my bucket list of life. Other than that, I don't know. Just tick it off as we go along. Have you been to Texas before? No, I've had a connection flight there when I was going to Mexico. And then I had real good brunch there. It was like a breakfast burrito and it was absolutely, mad. honestly, it's like this big. And that's my one experience with Texas. Do you miss glamour modeling? I do miss glamour modeling. When it was at its heyday, it was so much fun. It's a perfect job, you know, you get to go there. Get all your hair and makeup done, feel amazing. Someone picks your outfit for you, like, oh, just amazing, nice, posh underwear. And then everyone takes pictures of you. It's bloody amazing and do you get to hang out with all your mates because it, it's like a community so you make up artists stylists you know obviously the models photographers you all become like friends and then you see each other every other month and it's just a nice day and it's it was so much more than just kind of your tits out in a magazine like there's so much behind that and that's why i think it's a real shame that it's gone so i do miss it a lot but times have changed and things move on i think don't quote me actually you can quote me on this if i'm right i do think it might come back one day because i feel like there's such a swing to the other way you know it's like banned and then now it's like ever since hardcore that i feel like in a few years people might start to really miss it and appreciate it for what it was rather than always want to look at you know full-on <laughs> That's fine though, but I'm just saying, it's nice to have different stuff. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna split this in two because there's too many questions for me to answer in one and I don't want you getting bored of me rambling on. So make sure you continue and watch part two. Hopefully if you've asked a question, I'll be answering it in that one if I haven't answered it in this one. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking something somewhere and I'll see you soon.